All right, I want to talk about net ionic equations. And uh, basically, a net ionic equation, and it's, this is something that's very useful in uh, the lab uh, in chemistry, but basically a, a net ionic equation is kind of, is a way we can take and look at a, a, a chemical reaction and, uh, and, and find uh, the, the net uh, or the specific species, if you would, the specific uh, um, elements, elemental species like aluminum or sodium, um, and see exactly what's going on when those react with each other. So um, that's kind of the long-winded uh, definition of it. What it means, uh, as far as you're concerned, writing them out, is they will give you a compound, uh, usually two aqueous uh, compounds, like uh, this, these two that we have right up here, and then they'll say they react to produce what? You know, these are the reactants, what are they going to produce? And expect you to write out uh, a total, or uh, I'm sorry, to write out a molecular, molecular equation. They'll want you to write out, after that, they'll want you to write out a total ionic equation. I'm just going to abbreviate equation there. And then a net ionic equation. All right, so if anybody ever asks you for a molecular equation and they give you you know two substances like that um, this is how you'll find that and I'll start and go through each one of these and explain each one of them as I go so a molecular equation and we kind of learned this uh, saw these a little bit with the balancing videos but basically um, you're going to assume a, a double replacement um, when you have two compounds like this um, if it were just one compound, if this was just aluminum and sodium hydroxide, it'd be a single replacement, meaning aluminum would swap out with sodium, um, and it would be sodium uh, plus aluminum hydroxide on our product side. But there's two compounds here, so it's going to be a double replacement. So aluminum here is going to swap out with sodium and vice versa. It's going to look like this. Aluminum hydroxide. plus uh, sodium nitrate. So we got sodium and nitrate. NO3. All right, so I'm going to put the ions on here so you can see what we're doing whenever we put our subscript. OH is a negative. Uh, aluminum, we know, is 3 plus. 3 plus. I get that from the periodic table. The polyatomic, I just you just have to memorize those. Um, so this is going to cross down. These have to net out to be zero, right? So I can just use my cross down method where the three here on aluminum has to be a three on the hydroxide. So I'm going to put parentheses around this, parentheses, and put a three there. And my one from hydroxide is just going to go to my one aluminum. So I'm going to have Al1OH3. All right, same thing over here. I know sodium is plus one and nitrate is minus one so those are already balanced so we're already good to go there alright this is the what's called the molecular equation okay um, well once I balance it it's called a molecular equation so this we have what we're working with uh, at this point now we just need to write it out in the molecular equation and basically all you're doing whenever uh, you're writing it out in the molecular equation is you're taking this and you're balancing it that's all the molecular equation is. So I know I have, um, so let me just write everything out here um, so we can really see it all rewritten. So I have Al, uh, NO3, NO3 plus 3Na, 3 sodium, OH. yields Al OH 3 plus Na NO3 Alright, 
I'm going to switch colors here so you can see what I'm doing when I balance. So I have three sodiums on this side, so I have to have three sodiums on this side. So I need to add a three here. Uh, and then I have, uh, right, because we have three there, so I have to add a three to that. So I have three sodiums. Now I've got three hydroxides, um, so I need to add a three over here to aluminum. Or no, I don't. I'm sorry. I forgot to put my three down here. So I've got three nitrates. Um, three nitrates, uh, I've got one aluminum, three hydroxides, three hydroxides. So it looks like I'm balanced, right? They're, they're equal on all sides. That is the molecular equation. And that's all there is to it. It's just doing, doing this, uh, make, uh, using your double replacement or single replacement, depending on how the equation is set up, and balancing, balancing it. That's the molecular equation. So that's done. That's kind of easy. So we have that taken care of. Now let's go to the total ionic, because that's a little bit tricky, trickier. So we've got our total ionic here. That's going to be, uh, basically, when we go to our uh, from our molecular equation to our total ionic, we're going to break these things up into individual ions, depending on whether they're aqueous or uh, solids. And you know what? I almost forgot. And, and, one of the most important things on here. This was aqueous. You need to label all these the entire way through. Aqueous. Um, okay. And so these we don't. This wasn't given in our problem whether uh, the aluminum hydroxide or sodium nitrate were uh, were aqueous or solid. So we have to find that out. Well, there's a chart that your teacher should probably give to you that tells us uh, the solubility rules. Basically, anytime sodium is in a compound or a, uh, a uh, uh, molecule, it's uh, always soluble. So we know sodium is going to be uh, aqueous. <clears throat> right, because it says it right here uh, on, the, uh, on the chart. It is generally soluble in water, so it's aqueous. If it's soluble in water, it's aqueous. Um, and then we know uh, hydroxide from our aluminum hydroxide are generally insoluble unless they're bonded with uh, lithium, sodium, potassium, uh, ammonia. It's not seen. It's not paired with calcium, strontium, or barium. So it's not paired with any of these. Um, so it's it has to be insoluble. So we marked that with an S. All right. So this is aqueous and this is solid or soluble. So when we write out our net ionic equation, we're going to rewrite these and break these up into ions. Break into ions based on if they're aqueous or solid. Now the solid, we don't break up into ions. We leave that just the way it is. So we, re we re rewrite these, pardon me, AL and when we break these up into ions, we're going to depict their charges. So aluminum, as you can see on the little mini periodic table I've got here, uh, it has, um, it's a, in the third uh, group over here, uh, so it would rather uh, give up three ions to look more like neon than gain any. So we, we call that a three plus charge. So three plus, let me rewrite that a little bit better. 3 plus uh, for aluminum. And then nitrate, you just have to memorize this. You can't see it on the periodic table. Plus nitrate. Now there's three nitrates, so we're going to write it like this. 3NO3. And the charge on nitrate is minus 1. So we put a minus right there. Now you can put a minus or just a minus 1. It shouldn't matter either way. Then we have three sodium hydroxides, or uh, three sodiums, three sodiums, Na. Na has a plus one charge. We can see that from the periodic table right there. It would rather give up one electron than gain seven. So plus, plus hydro three hydroxides, right? Because this means three sodiums and three hydroxides. So we've got three hydroxides. And I'm going to run out of room here. Let me 
let me write this underneath it here. Me bring this down. Just like that. Copy that. Okay. Bring that right there. And then let me get rid of this over here. All right, so I brought this down over here, uh, and I had to pause the video and play around with the computer, so sorry if it was a little glitchy there. Um, but anyway, I brought this down over here, and now I just need to bust uh, this side, the product side of the equation, up into ions also. Now I leave the alo aluminum hydroxide the same because it's a solid, and I know that because my chart said it was. So aluminum hydroxide. OH3, my parenthesis there, plus three sodiums. I indicate that by charge, and this is solid. Don't forget to put these in there, it's really important. Um, my sodium is aqueous, plus NO3, nitrate. I've got three of those also. And that is aqueous. And sodium is negative. Alright, so good deal. So this is the total ionic. Basically what the total ionic is, uh, equation is doing is it's showing all the total ions in their ionic form. So we have aluminum, which is a 3 plus ion, plus nitrate, which is a uh, plus three nitrates, which is a negative ion, um, plus sodium, uh, or pl yeah, plus sodium, which plus three sodiums, which is a plus one ion, plus three hydroxide, which is a negative ion, and those are reacting to produce this reactant. That's the total ionic equation. Well, the net ionic equation is getting rid of all of the different ions in this equation that aren't really reacting to produce our precipitate, our solid, right here, as indicated in our equation, because we said this is solid um, whenever we looked it up in the on our chart. This so this is this is our precipitate. This is what we're really looking for as far as to find an equation um, that shows how this is formed. So our net ionic is going to get rid of all these spectator ions. So we know that on this side of the equation I have three Na, and on this side of the equation I have three Na. So those are spectator ions. If it's on the right and the left, it's a spectator ion. Spectator ion. Let me do this with the blue. Spectator ion. All right, so I have 3NO3 on this side, and I have 3NO3 on this side, so that's a spectator ion. Um, so that's all I have left. So I'm left over here with aluminum 3 plus aqueous plus 3 OH negative aqueous and, and uh, Al uh, aluminum hydroxide 3 solid so those that's my, gonna be my net ionic equation so I just rewrite it as Al 3 plus and it's aqueous plus 3 OH negative and it's aqueous reacts with to form aluminum hydroxide uh, and it's solid. Alright, good deal. Or soluble is what I should really say. Alright, so this is how uh, you, you do the molecular, total ionic, and net ionic equation. Um, I have a chart uh, that I'm going to upload on, with some problems um, that you can use and do with these and they, they're already worked out and the answers are on there. So. Um, See the description on how to get that.